Hi there, I'm Case, and here's what's new in DevTools in Chrome 61. The new mobile device throttling menu lets you simulate a low-end or mid-tier mobile device with a couple of clicks. Press Toggle Device Toolbar to enter device mode. The mobile device throttling menu is set to online by default. Click it to see the mobile device options. Select low-end mobile, and you see warning icons pop up next to the network and performance tabs. These are here to remind you that you've got network and CPU throttling enabled. Now when you interact with your pages, you can get a better idea of how they load and respond on a low-end device. To see exactly how DevTools defines a low-end device, hover over the menu, or go to the Performance panel and open the Capture Settings menu. The throttling menu is just a shortcut for setting the network and CPU options here. You can see that they automatically update when I set the throttling menu back to online. The new usage chart on the clear storage pane breaks down how much storage your page is using organized by technology. Another new feature in the application panel is the time cache column, which tells you when a response was cached. Also new, you can now enable the FPS meter from the command menu. Press Command Shift P on Mac or Control Shift P on Windows and Linux to open the command menu. Type FPS, then select Show Frames Per Second Meter. In the top right of your viewport, there's now an overlay that shows your page's FPS performance in real time. If you work with a lot of performance recordings, there's now a setting to change how your mouse wheel or trackpad behaves while you're analyzing a recording. Here I've got a recording of a page load. By default, when I swipe up and down with two fingers on this section, DevTool zooms in and out. But if I open up settings and set flame chart mouse wheel action to scroll, now that action scrolls the section instead. ES6 modules are shipping natively in Chrome 61, and debugging in DevTools works as you'd expect it to. Right now, we're paused on this on function in bootstrap.js. It says here that we're importing the function from helpers.js. When I step into this function, it should jump us to its definition in helpers.js. Neat. That's all for Chrome 61. Thanks for watching. Tweet us at Chrome DevTools or start a thread in the mailing list to discuss these changes. And subscribe to the Chrome Developers YouTube channel to keep up on the latest ideas. I'll see you in six weeks for Chrome 62.